Hi, Dr. Goldberg here, continuing our internal medicine lecture series. Today we're going to talk about thyroid nodules or a thyroid nodule. Very common problem. Obviously, we've got our endocrinologists uh, uh, waiting to help us with this problem if we're confused. Uh, but let's talk a little about uh, the thyroid nodule. So about 85 to 90 percent of thyroid nodules are benign, and up to 50 percent of the population get a thyroid nodule. <clears throat> A nuclear radioactive uh, iodine uptake test, which is the I-123 uptake test, and that's not the radioactive iodine-131, a little different than that. Uh, this is helpful with, of course, the thyroid ultrasound, which defines the size of the nodule, uh, but along with the uh, 123 uptake, uh, it's very helpful. So. If people have Graves' disease, uh, which is a common cause of hyperthyroidism, the radioactive uh, iodine uptake uh, is going to be hot all over the entire gland. If they have a Hashimoto's thyroiditis, uh, the uptake will be low with patchy uh, hot spots. If a nodule is hot on the uh, radioactive uh, iodine uptake 123, uh, this may be then, this nodule may be overproducing thyroid hormone and are rarely cancerous. Uh, cold nodules, however, not taking up the I-123, up to 20% of these can be cancerous. Technetium-99 scans can be used in place of the uh, radioactive iodine-123 scans. So the algorithm is this, we check the TFTs first. If the TFTs are high, uh, we check for Graves' disease uh, with autoimmune antibodies. We can get antithyroid antibodies and antimicrosomal antibodies. Uh, obviously, goiter is sometimes present with Graves, uh, or there may be a malignant nodule. You do the I-123 uptake scan, uh, re re refer to surgery uh, if not Graves' disease. If the TFTs are normal or low, if the patient's you know, euthyroid or hypothyroid, or hy hypothyroid then we'll frequently suppress the nodule with levothyroxine. If the nodule grows, then obviously they're going to need a fine needle aspirate uh, for biopsy. And of course, <clears throat> doing fine needle aspirates is a, a good thing to do for any nodule uh, in question. Uh, obviously, if the fine needle aspirate is benign uh, or colloid cyst, that type of thing, then we observe it's malignant, then obviously needs to go to surgery for removal. Uh, if with thy thyroid medicine the nodule shrinks, then we just observe and continue with thyroid suppression, uh, monitoring clinical exams, thyroid function tests, uh, and you know uh, routine uh, ultrasound. So that just gives you a little kind of summary of thyroid nodules. Uh, hope, hope this helps uh, as you take care of the uh, patient with the thyroid nodule. Thanks, Dr. Goldberg, signing off.